What's up guys, it is your boy Bernardo from the BTN HD and today is all about installing Office 2019 preview. Pretty excited. Uh, it looks like Microsoft is releasing Office 2019 for those individuals that are not going to be migrating up to Office 365. So let's get started. Now, first thing that you need to do is join the group so you can have access to the Office 2019 commercial preview. I will leave the link at the bottom of the description so you guys can click on it and see if you are able to join it. So once you join, you want to click on show packages and then you have two packages. I will recommend downloading both of them. Uh, within this video, I'm only going to show you guys how to download this one because this, that's basically the exe files that you need. It's not really exe files. It's, it's, a, it's a tool and you need to do commands for it to work correctly. It's a pain in the butt. The documentation is a must to download because it gives you the license key as well as it shows you how to configure your configuration.xml file which you need to install it correctly within your infrastructure. Now for me I clicked on office development tool Win32 it took me here click on the nice little arrow download it and then open up your downloads folder and there goes the tool. Double click on it and you're going to get this nice little window accept the license and terms, hit continue, find a location where you want this to be dropped. I put it inside my D and I created a folder called Office 2019. Then I clicked OK and that's it. It's really simple, really fast. Uh, click OK here. Now within that folder where it extracted this stuff at, uh, there's a particular file that you need to do configuration. Now configuration.xml file, we need to open it up. I open it up with Notepad and we need to change these two uh, parameters. I changed it to Pro Plus 2019 Volume and uh, Product ID Proofing Tools. Now, at the ending of this video, I'm gonna show you guys that I made a boo-boo. This information, I got it within uh, one of the documents, but then I was, I was getting some errors. I'm gonna show you guys. So you save it, you open up PowerShell, Within PowerShell, I changed the directory to go to the D Office 2019 folder because we need to call the setup exe file. So I'm inside the path. I did a CMD to get into command prompt. And within there, I did setup forward slash download, which is one of the parameters, and you call configuration.xml. Now, once you do that, it's going to take a while. You're going to see that nothing's happening, but in reality, there's a folder that's going to be created for you, and it's called Office. And once it's done, you're going to see that you're back into your command prompt. That's a good thing. Now, to look inside the Office folder, there's only a folder called Data, and within there, we have multiple stuff, like a couple of cab files. And inside this folder, there's more cab files and dat files. Okay, so you're basically saying to yourself, where's the exe file to double click on it and install? The way that they're doing the Office 2019 preview is you have to do everything through command and using the configuration.xml file. So, next thing that we need to do is go back inside your command line and you want to type in setup config, uh, that's the parameter, forward slash config, call the configuration.xml file. Now, when I ran this, I received this problem. This product can be installed on the selected update channel. Please contact your system administrator and try again. Uh, I said to myself, okay, I'm running version 18.03, the latest uh, build for Windows 10. Probably that's the issue. That wasn't the problem. The problem was the XML file. So I had to make some modifications. And this is the modifications that I had. I had to change the channel and I also provided a product key. Now the product key is within that documentation zip file. Everything is in there. This is where I got this information. And once I do all that, I save the file. Then I ran the command again, set up forward slash configure and configuration.xml file. When I ran it, I got this. This was a good thing. Eventually you're gonna get this. This process takes, I would say, between 10 to 15 minutes. I did everything inside a virtual machine. Uh, once everything is done, you're going to have this. You're going to click on close and go to start, open up Word, and it looks the same as Office 2016. From my opinion, there's a couple of new features that I've seen off the bat. Uh, I'm definitely going to do a overview on that in the future, so don't worry about that. Uh, 
This was strange. Uh, I received a Microsoft Word is in your default program for viewing editing documents. Uh, I would like to see if you guys received this. Uh, if you don't, it's okay. For me, I just hit yes. Now, this might not work if you already have Office installed within your machine. Okay, If you have Office installed within your machine, remove it. Then do the following steps that I did or showed you guys. Right? Uh, it's going to do this. Click next, it's connecting and it's activated. How awesome is that? Uh, clicked on blank document and there you go. I also went inside account. I just wanted to show you guys that it is the Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2019 preview. And that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on how to get yourself up and running with the latest Office uh, Suite 2019. Pretty cool. I will do a little bit of snooping around and see if I could do follow-up videos to see what's new. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.